Good morning, my name is Andy Coyle. I'm going to show you this beautiful 1968 Oldsmobile 442 Cutlass. This is a gorgeous car with gorgeous paint. The story on this purple paint is the guy who restored it, the consigner's father, had a buddy who was a painter and he said he had this paint from a, doing a Dodge this is purple madness or some dodge color and he got a deal on this paint because the guy already had it it's really well done paint job beautiful vinyl top I don't see any evidence any rust bubbling underneath this is a real 442 and the reason we know that is because you can decode the VIN and the second through fifth numbers on the VIN uh, call it out as a the VIN calls it out as a real 442 so it, it has according to the consigner the original motor and it does look to be like a correct Oldsmobile it's, they have like a wider V smaller heads and this is like a 400 cubic inch it's been updated with Edelbrock manifold, dual circuit power. Uh, disc brakes on the front, rear drums, modern uh, carburetor, headers, nice clean firewall. Looks like the heat heater core is all hooked up. Really nice car. The trunk is clean no rust at all on this car that I can see anywhere the underside is just as clean so if you look like in these corners and stuff looks all original to me has a power antenna obviously and it looks like they must have done a really thorough paint job as you can see the underside of the trunk is also painted so we'll go for a quick drive. As I said, this has front disc brakes, which is what you want. Glass is all good, windows all roll up and down. So the inside has been pretty well all redone. New upholstery, new carpeting. It has a center console, which is very desirable. Dashboard looks to be in really good shape. has these extra gauges here JVC system I wasn't sure if that all worked most buyers of these cars are more interested in the car not the sound so start it up three speed nice sound nice growl I think this has like 300 350 horsepower is what I recall reading. So we'll go for a quick drive. Nice firm shift. Nice firm shift. The steering wheel, there's no shimmy, it's nice and straight. Goes down the road nice. The gauges here appear to be working fine. Speedometer works. So we're gonna do a quick U-turn just so you get an idea. The car stops nice and straight. The disc brakes are a nice addition and it has the dual circuit master booster, which I'm not sure in 68 if they had the dual circuit was available yet oh, it runs out nice I think it has the the shift kit in it which makes for nice firm shifts shows it's going we're going about 45 50 miles an hour it seems 
like we're probably going a little faster. Not sure how accurate that is. What a nice ride. So it stops nice and nice and straight. So we'll back it in. But before we do, we'll take a look. We'll try the lights. You look in the So the lights work. See if the high beams they work. See if the wipers work. Yeah, they work. See if the fan works. Yep, I'm feeling the the fan and the heat. So the car is very solid. It's uh Nice solid car, very impressed with this car. Underside is just as clean as the uh, top is. So let's review a 1968 Olds Cutlass 442. It's a real 442. It's a clean California title. It's a smog exempt. It's been pretty well completely restored. And yeah, super nice car. Nice and dry. Don't see any rust. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks very much.